careful. This is a point being thrown away, and they're giving this question um, to do that. And this, this is the kind of question that's going to separate some kids. Um, I don't know if you guys know um, how the scoring is done for uh, some of these tests, whether it's the IASE or the Shazad. And the truth of the matter is um, they take all the scores after you got your scores, and they produce a bell curve. And the bell curve, in the case of the IACE, is basically against uh, other kids of your age across the country. Okay, In the case of the Shazat, they don't do it that way. What they do is, but they compare your score against everybody else's score who took it. And what they're trying to shoot for is a midpoint score. And then from that side, once they get the midpoint score, the bell curve, they're going to throw kids on either side of it. And they do that by increasing the points you get for any questions you ask, answer after that midpoint score. It's not the question number, it's the number of questions you get right. All right? And the average kid is going to get the average score, whatever that happens to be. If it means they only got 50 out of 100 questions right, then that's what it means. If it means every kid got 90 out of 100 right, then that's what it means. But anyway, they mathematically set it up so that there's a midpoint score, so to speak, and kids go on one side of it or the other. Okay, if you're basically on your, the left-hand side, so to speak, you're out. You, you didn't pass the cutoff score. Okay, and if you're on the right-hand side, you may or may not have passed the cutoff score. What you want to do is end up on the right-hand side. You don't want to be in the midpoint with all the other kids. Because at a certain point, every question you get right is worth more. The Shazad Handbook mentions something like if every question um, is worth one point and they're equal. And the truth of the matter is, even though the next paragraph they explain that there's a normalization that occurs and a, and a curve, they don't explain it amply enough. And they already threw out that each point, each question is equal. And the truth of the matter is, each question is not equal. They're not. And this is the kind of question you want on the Shazad to bump up your score. So you want to make sure that um, if you mastered all the math, you don't want to lose 10 points. That's 10 raw points, which could map into 150 points. 150 points. What if you get the last 10 questions wrong? I don't mean question 40, uh, 37 through 47. I mean, if you already answered 37 questions correctly, and you're going to go back wherever those questions have to be and answer the last 10 they're the most important 10 questions on the test. Because question number 20 that you got right, that, or the 20th question you got right, might only be worth 3 or 4 points. Whereas question 40 might be worth 15 points. That's a huge, giant difference. Okay? So this is the kind of question you really want to get right. And like I said before, where you, you kind of sit back and observe the problem when we did the XPEX 3 over the XPEX 3, you want to do that. You want to take that second on every question and just say, whoa, what am I being asked? Am I, am I answering the right question here? Okay? I'm spending a lot of time on a simple question on this, but a lot of kids are going to get this question wrong. Absolutely wrong. So you want to make sure that uh, you're, you're, you're astute, that you're awake, uh, which ties back into the whole spiel about preparing correctly, uh, the week of the test, getting eating right, uh, being healthy, exercise, um, no stress, uh, don't set up other things going on, just to make sure that you're getting there and your mind is clear and all this other stuff. All right? Um, and there's some argument that this is that should be given like the week after the last day of school even, um, because your school's going to start up and you have that competing with uh, figuring out the Shazad stuff. All right? And there's a lot of issues to contend with, um, especially if, if you have a middle school that wasn't so great. All right.